so it decreases the quality it decreases the quality of the picture okay okay so it will uh, remove the sharpen details so okay. after adjusting up to the face see now the quality you can see uh without any more splitted pixels see this now see the face quality mm -hmm. right right it's smooth yeah it is showing smoother but now if wherever we lost the quality of hard edges that hard edges we will get back with the help of sharpen tool mm -hmm. so now the face this outline border edge see basically this sharpen tool works with contrast which is there in the brightness and contrast so with the help of this contrast value it will work the sharpen tool mm -hmm. so if you work with this the brighten pixels will become more brighten the darken pixels may become more darken so whenever we use this it uh, removes the smoothness or uh, dull shade pixels and it converts into more highlights and more dark in value so that is the reason mm -hmm. it looks like a, a sharpen edge understood understood so this is the way we can work out with the blur tool sharpen tool and then smudge tool is just simply to smudge the pixels I means as a digital painting purpose we can use our portrait designing purpose also we can use like this see the pixels are smudging completely right right as a paint completely so later we have dodge tool burn tool and sponge tool mm -hmm. dodge tool is a one where you can set your mid tone highlights and shadow ranges wise we can improve the exposure quality in the each and every range okay okay for example in the particular image i'll open another image now
So here we have very much dull lighting, right? Right. The light uh, which is coming from the plant bowl position <clears throat> and the surrounding other lights are not uh, in, uh, means they, uh, they are not uh, active or they are not uh, switched on, right? So now mm -hmm. we have to adjust the uh, lighting quality on her uh, face and at the hands position, okay? Okay. So for that, you can basically go with adjustments like lighting adjustments, color correction and all. Without this, without those tools, we can also use these tools like dodge tool, burn tool and sponge tool. Dodge tool is the one where you can increase the exposure of mid-tone highlights and the shadows. Okay. Okay. It means it increases the brightness qualities. See the difference now. I just created a layer duplicate. Increase the brush size. Increase the brush size. So now just paint from here. See this. Is it increasing the lighting? Yes. Yeah. So right now I'm working with the mid-tone. Okay. Okay. 50% of exposure I added in on the mid-tone. Why if we add a hundred percent? No, don't go with the hundred percent. It will uh, completely shows like a patch, patch kind of color. Okay. Okay. So every time we have to use minimum value only. If you need that. 200 then the 50 percent brush tool two times you have to add then it becomes a hundred percent mm -hmm. understood understood so now i'm adding highlights so highlighted position where exactly the light is uh, illuminating on the hair body and the dress and at the hand uh, dress position i'm adding slowly the value see if you add multiple times, how it is converting, see this? It is something like a patch. Mm -hmm. Contrasted patch. So that is the reason we doesn't have to use multiple times. These all the tools, okay? Okay. Very limited manner you have to use. Then the shadow positions also. If you want to increase the brightness, the shadow position, drag this see the shadows are getting and converting into brighten so you can see the quality of the girl in a proper lighting now because of the adjustments okay, okay. so highlights where the lighting is uh, illuminating on her face and hand, mid-tones, the between area of uh, shaded and uh, highlighted position. And shadows, where the lighting is not reaching, they are more darker areas. That also you can convert to little more brightness be, with the help of uh, uh, this exposure option. Means this tool name is Dodge Tool. It increases the exposure in the each and every range wise okay clear okay clear so now next tool in the same position we have burn tool this burn tool will decrease the exposure it will decrease the exposure with the same shadow wise mid-tone wise and highlighted wise Mm -hmm. So, for example, highlighted, I selected and uh, exposure, I selected 50% and I'm going to decrease the highlighted values here. See, if I use multiple times, it converts into gray shade. See, it removes the brighten value. See this, now it is looking dull. Mm -hmm. Have you understood? Understood. See, here at the light position also. 
I'm converting into D exposure means the exposure value is removed and it is converted to gray color. Mm -hmm. Can you see this? Yes. I'm removing now with the control Z. So now I got my back. I mean, I got my image back. Okay. Okay. See the original image and the present differences. Can you see the variation? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So this is the this is the concept to increase the uh, exposure value a dodge tool and to decrease the exposure value of each and every range like mid tone highlights and shadows burn tool you can use. Okay. Okay. Means sponge tool opposite is burn tool. Mm -hmm. Sponge tool. I mean, sorry, it is a dodge tool, not sponge tool. Dodge tool opposite is burn tool. Dodge tool basically it increases the brightness in all the uh, ranges wise. And uh, the next tool, burn tool, it decreases the brightness. Mm -hmm. Clear? Clear. So next we have the sponge tool. Sponge tool, we have two types of options desaturation and saturation okay okay saturation it improves the color quality for example uh, on her uh, dress uh, there is a green shade but it is having very limited green right right it is not having completely green shade so if you want to convert this into green or a yellow if you drag multiple times See, the color quality is increasing. Can you see this? Yeah. The qualities of uh, color, it is increasing. It is converted to more uh, green shade now. Mm -hmm. See the previous one and present one. See. Mm -hmm. And on her face also, if you want to increase the orange shade, skin color, see how brightly the uh, face is looking with glow now. Right? Right. Say this. But if you do the same process number of times, again, same with thing will happen. All pixel converts into more pixelated and uh, pixelated and uh, it burns the colors. Means more contrast, it converts all the colors into separate pixels okay it disturbs the complete uh, image quality understood understood so you doesn't have to use all these tools more time we have to add only one or two times with the uh, limited values desaturation is the one which decreases the quality of the color Color quality a decrease kar dega. means it decreases the color quality. Okay, whenever we use okay. this, it decreases the color quality. See this? Okay. If you add more number of times the same brush tool, then we will lose the completely color quality of the image and it converts into gray again. Mm -hmm. Desaturation. Desaturation means it removes the color quality. Mm -hmm. okay so okay. these three are the uh, options uh, we can work out with the midtones shadows highlights and uh, color quality wise saturation and desaturation wise o is the shortcut for all these three tools okay mm -hmm. okay so next we have pen tool pen tool so this pen tool is a one where we can do manually proper 100% perfect selection. With the help of pen tool, we can do 100% perfect selection. Okay. To cut the image or to fill the colors, whatever you want, you can do easily. Mm-hmm.
So I'm going to select this image. So remove the lock. Okay. Okay. Now this pen tool basically creates a path. Pen tool, free form pen tool uh curvature pen and uh, anchor point add anchor point delete anchor point and convert point tool so these are the options we have related to pen tool okay so basically with this pen tool we can create shape path or pixels okay okay but uh, pixels is not activated the pixels only fills Pixels means color. Pixels only okay. fills when it converts into selection. Before it is not possible to fill the color. Okay. But okay. Uh, path is the one which creates only the line means curve shape. Shape means you can fill the color directly and you will also get a path. And you can also add a stroke. Stroke means color. Again for the stroke outside you can add a color here whatever color okay. you want for example mm -hmm. i'll show you the first uh, shape option create new layer and uh, i'm adding a stroke color also with red or yellow something and uh, fill is having already with uh, brown and stroke size how much you want like two pixels or something so you can increase the thickness of the line okay the stroke we have different kind of strokes like dashes, dots and all. You can also add more options in the stroke from here. Presets you can download and you can add into this. Okay. So as of now, I'm going with this and I'm selecting the another shape in the new layer. See this. I'm hiding the backside actor. So whatever shape you draw. You understood how I am working? Yeah. Say this, I created this particular shape. See, without this path, you can't see the fill, filled color. See, in this layer also, you can see there is a transparent area and this color is filled only inside the path, inside the shape only. Understood? Understood. And if you want to get the stroke color yellow more thickness it is having very much small line that thickness if you want to increase you can increase this see uh -huh. now, okay. now can you see the stroke now yeah you can increase the size of the stroke mm -hmm. so you can create some cartoon characters patterns and designs whatever we want with this shape options mm -hmm. greeting cards or uh, magazine with uh, 
like vector based designs and all you can create means with the solid colors only okay like this okay so create one more shape at this position into the new layer it creates automatically another layer see this uh -huh, okay understood understood so you can also fill a different color in the present uh, output like this and for this stroke if you want to add a different design like dots or dashes or a line okay you can choose whatever you want okay so this is what pen tool is means you can create shapes or else without creating shapes means whatever cartoon characters you want face everything you can create or else without creating shapes you can also use this as a path tool path tool means you won't get the color and uh, stroke options okay okay in the path you will get only selection means you can create a path shape first see i'll do this see how i am creating you have to observe now see after clicking drag like this okay okay so this is the main point and these two points we call as tangents mm -hmm. previous means before point whatever the one this point we have this point we call as uh, intangent and this after the point main point whatever we have that is called out out tangent okay these are called tangents mm -hmm. now i'm going to add one more point here and automatically it creates a line at this position can you see the line yeah path yeah so based on the tangents alt and uh, mouse left button click on the tangent and you can bend this tangent okay okay in which side you want to continue the next path selection so okay. click click here and drag so you have to drag exactly to select the ear shape at the proper down position if you drag in a reverse direction the path will go inside okay okay if you drag more also it will come down like this mm -hmm. so then you have to set the each tangent wise by holding the alt click and drag and place it properly according okay. to your pixel shape okay are you getting my point yes so spacebar is a shortcut to move your image from one place to another place and alt is the shortcut to hold your tangent with mouse left button and you can scale the tangents also like this okay to change the position so now here i'm clicking and dragging like this the path direction should follow the ear shape exactly okay and path we have to create between the soft pixels and the hard pixels hard pixels means uh, whatever the subject color we have that pixels we call as hard pixel and wherever it is merging with the background the background is having more color then that is called soft pixels okay so you doesn't have to select mostly the background pixel so that is the reason and we doesn't have to miss out the image pixels also so that's why you have to zoom and you have to select maximum between of the area between position of the background and foreground okay. understood understood and we doesn't have to use more points unnecessarily so wherever it is having arc if you add at the corner one point and if you drag properly the arc shapes will automatically select comes into selection then change okay. the change the 
forward tangent direction by holding the alt and um, move this as per your next continuation selection and you can easily complete your process of the selection see like this understood chetan up to here understood So wherever it is needed at those places only I'm adding the point and dragging with the mouse left button and where the direction I want to change my tangents after dragging see this tangent now it should turn into this side alt and mouse left button drag see now this tangent I uh, turned into the back side and add one more point at this place and drag like this clear mm. so if you do the practice then only you will understand very clearly and you will uh, know the working style also with pen tool okay okay just by seeing uh, it is difficult to learn so you have to compulsory do the practice okay so you have to cut minimum three to four or five images. Then you will understand how it will work and what way you can get the proper and better output. Mm So now we have completed up to the next. So here you have to select from this direction at this side. Okay.
so at the finally end at end point you have to click to complete the path shape okay. see now the selection was done see from this selection we have to remove the back uh, between the hands positions okay okay so here you have to keep the subtract selection subtract from selection and again select this for position okay. understood chetan understood we are not still converted this path into selection we are still working with path only okay it is not a selection so we have to convert to selection okay so only whenever we use the selection then automatically it should convert to uh, means it should remove this area from the selection that's why i'm adding subtract from selection okay so this position also Okay, once it is done, now press control enter to convert to selection. Okay. The entire path will convert to selection or else we can also right click and create uh, in this place, we have the make selection. Here we have okay. the make selection. So if you need a feather value, you can add feather also, little blur at the sides positions. See, basically, uh, whenever we have done this selection, that time, there is a another option at this place, right? Right. That is exclude overlapping. So, whenever it is there in the exclude overlapping, it won't give us the proper selection, but I am going to try again because previously it is there in the selection now i removed that particular select path from the selection okay okay so press control enter now see because of that pen tool path means the previously it is there in the exclude overlapping because of this reason now i got selection which place background can you see this? It is selected the background, not the character. Yeah. So, once we converted the selection to, uh, I mean, once we converted the path to selection, now we got the selection, but not the character is there in the selection. Right? Right. It is selected the background. Because of my issue only, I forgot to change this option from this exclude to combine shape. Understood? Understood. So, in the another session, we will continue with the pen tool again, but you understood how to do the selection, right? Right. And here, if you right click with the marquee tool or any selection tool, if you select and if you right click, here you can see select inverse. If you do this select inverse, it selects the character now, not the background. Understood? Understood. See this. Now character is uh, selected. Okay. And you can press control J for duplicate. See okay. now this character is there in another layer without background. So you can change. You can add a different color into this. So clear? Clear. Yeah.
So my system is hanging. 